after three weeks of trekking bags of gear on no less than 17 flights across nine cities, I came to realize there's only a handful of items that I would consider a must have for a travel or street photographer. In fact, let me simplify it even further. Here are the three things that I believe to be indispensable for the travel photographer that you can also carry with you at all times. The first is a very simple cleaning kit. This includes cleaning solution, a cleaning cloth, and a blower. Having this available to me at all times means that I could shoot to my desire. I could shoot in any environment and in those situations where I'm having dust or rain or dirt, whatever, anything it was that was flung in my direction, I could take a few seconds just to clean off the front element of my camera and keep shooting and not worry about trying to edit out blotches or even completely ruining the shot. This is such a simple thing to consider, but in my travels, in my conversations, I find that most creators simply overlook. So take a few minutes, order yourself some cleaning solution, a nice cloth and a blower and pack it with you because it's just gonna make your experience that much easier. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this one. Go out and get your dream lens. Find that one lens that can cover 80 to 90% of what you capture. That's portable enough that you can take it with you everywhere and not feel like it's weighing you down and just get that thing. Whether you have to save up for it, whether you have to finance it, get the dream lens that you can use for decades. Not something that you're gonna have to buy and replace and slowly, incrementally upgrade. When I'm going to these remote places and having these chance encounters, I wanna make sure that I have the best result possible when I'm going back to my desk. And having the right lens, it makes all the difference. And if you're asking me, the biggest dictator of a great result is gonna be a great lens, not the camera. So whether it's a 28, 35, or 50 millimeter prime lens or a 24 to 70 equivalent, go out, get the best you can, and start putting a ton of mileage on that thing. The next thing I'm gonna recommend is a good quality variable ND filter. And this is because you don't wanna be sitting around just waiting for good light, and you also wanna make sure that you retain as much creative control over your shutter speed and your aperture when you're out on your trips. For example, if it's really bright outside and I don't have this filter with me, I'll have to turn up my shutter speed or close down my aperture to get the photo. And I will get a photo, but the problem here is that I won't necessarily get the creative look I'm going for. So if I wanted a lot of depth of field or if I wanted a little bit of motion blur, well, that is suddenly out of my control. Having a variable ND, this will artificially reduce the amount of light that's coming into your camera, meaning that you can use any aperture or shutter speed for the photograph you're going for. And again, when I'm going on these adventures, there are specific photographs and specific looks that I'm going after. A variable ND helps me achieve that. So again, do yourself a favor, add this to your list. This is something that will become invaluable. And it also means that you're not always chasing the good light, that you can be there at high noon and still get great results. Okay, can I just add one more thing to the list? Whether it's a traditional hard drive or an SSD, get a backup solution to take with you. Being able to have my photographs on my laptop and on a secondary location meant that I had some redundancy on my trips. It meant that in the event of a catastrophe, losing one or the other, I would still have something available to me. So if I could just squeeze in one more thing as an essential, it would be more storage. Get something, whether it's a hard drive, whether it's an SSD, something that you can back up your photos on your travels while you're on your trip. So there you have it, those are my essential items. These are things that I use day in and day out and relied on for my adventures and things that I believe other people will find a ton of value from. If you have any more questions or want more recommendations, go to henrys.com and check out the live chat where you can speak to an expert and build out your kit for your next adventure. As always, my name is Gadgen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.